Hello everybody, this is the Chemistry Midterm Exam Review Worksheet for Grade 8 at the International School of Innovation. Here we have some notes to study. Moving to the atoms, this is the atomic representation. Whenever I told you to write an atomic representation, this is the symbol. Represent carbon, oxygen, hydrogen, uh, nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, calcium, this X. A represent the mass number or the number of nucleons y z is the chart number which called the atomic number as i said symbol x represent an element it can be lithium chlorine sulfur potassium n is assigned to the number of neutrons so capital n is assigned to the number of neutrons meaning they are found in nucleus so a which is the mass number it's equal to Z, which is the atomic number, plus capital N, which is the number of neutrons. Okay, let's see your example here. We have an example about carbon, which has a mass number A, it's equal to 12, and Z, it's equal to 6. A nucleus contains Z protons and A minus Z neutrons. So A equals Z plus N. Then a mathematical calculation and equation and it's equal to a minus z whenever z comes to here we have to change the sign a minus z so 12 minus 6 it's equal to 6 okay all matter of universe living or they are inert are made of particles that are called atoms atom has two parts a nucleus and electrons that move around the nucleus in a rapid movement in the electronic clouds. The nucleus is made up of positively charged, they are called the protons, P plus, and neutral, neutrons, symbol N, zero. These particles that make up the nuclei, they are called the nucleons. The electronic cloud is made up of negatively charged particles orbiting around the nucleus. So atom is composed of electron cloud and nucleus, as seen here in this diagram. Electron cloud is composed of electrons, symbol A minus. Protons, they have the symbol P plus, neutrons, and zero or N. Okay? So we have, in a neutral atom, you have to say this. In a neutral atom, you have to say this whatever you have to calculate. Z is equal to P plus, it's equal to A minus. And here we have isotopes. What are isotopes? Isotopes are elements that have the same atomic but different mass number. Here you have to study some of these uh, molecules. Some molecules you have to study molecular elements and molecular compounds hydrogen gas, H2, oxygen, O2, nitrogen, N2, chlorine, Cl2, ozone, O3, neon, it's Ne, small e, water. H2O, carbon dioxide, CO2, carbon monoxide, CO, ammonia, and H3, hydrochloric acid, HCl, we have sulfuric acid, H2, SO4, sulfuric dioxide, SO2, methane, CH4, ethylene, C2H4, acetylene, C2H2, butane, C4H10, octane, C8H18. According to the type of atoms making up the molecule, there are two types of molecules. We have homoatomic and we have heteroatomic. Homoatomic is made up of identical atoms. Example about this, H2, N2, O2, F2, Cl2, Br2, I2, they are made of identical atoms. While the heteroatomic is made up of different atoms. H2O is heteroatomic, composed of hydrogen and oxygen. Carbon dioxide is composed of carbon and oxygen. Methane, CH4, composed of carbon and hydrogen. Ammonia, NH3, sulfur dioxide. According to the number of atoms making up the molecule, there are three types of molecule. First, according to the type of atoms. Here, according to the number, we have mono, di, and poly. Monoatomic is composed of only one atom. Example, helium, neon, argon. While diatomic is composed of two atoms, H2, O2. 
CO, HCl. Poloatomic, made up of three or more atoms, H2O, H2SO4. Here are examples of poloatomic. What is atomicity? Whenever I talk about atomicity, I'm talking about the number of atoms making the molecule. For example, H2 is composed of two hydrogen, so atomicity is two. H2O, two hydrogen plus one oxygen. So two plus one is equal to three. H2SO4. Okay, H2SO4, how many hydrogen do we have? Two hydrogen plus how many sulfur? One plus how many oxygen? Four. So four plus one, five. Plus two, it's seven. Here is seven. Okay. Let's start with our questions. Question number one. Determine the electron configuration of each of the following cases. Carbon atom is found in the second row and in column 14. In the second row means that it has two energy shells. So it has K and L. K and this is L. In the column 14, so it's group 4, it has 4 as the various electrons. So we have here 4. In order to move the L, K should be filled. So it's filled by 2. So it's the K2, L4. Magnesium atom has a mass number which is equal to 24 and has 12 neutrons. Here we have to make some calculation. All of you know that A is equal to Z plus M. We have A, this is 24. We have Z, we have, sorry, M, it's 12. So we have to calculate Z. Z is equal to A minus M. It's equal to 24 minus 12. This is equal to 12. So what's the electron configuration? K2, L8, M2. This is for magnesium. Lithium has one venous electron and two energy cells. Two energy shells or two energy levels. This is K, this is L has one venous electron so we have only one venous electron on the last shell we have only one electron so it's k 2 l1 fluorine atom has the following nuclei this is the mass number and this is the atomic number here we have to calculate so it's k2 l7 silicon atom which is found directly below carbon atom in the period table below carbon atom in the period table they have the same group they have more one, one more electron shell or energy cell. So it's K L. We have to add one over this. K L. Here we have M. Same group, so they have the same valence electrons. Four. Here we have. In order to be full, we have to move to M. So we can't move to M without the full mark for L. So it should be A. Here we have two. So it's K2 L8. M4. Boron atom which has Venus shell L. Venus shell L, so we have K L. And Venus electrons is equal to 3. So this is a 3. In order to move to L, K should be full. So it had to be 2. Oxygen atom which has an isotope O17 of electron configuration K2 L6. Isotopes, they are atoms, they have. They are elements that they have the same. Atomic number, a different mass number. So they have the same Z. This K2, L6, this is Z. So they have the electron configuration K2, L6, doesn't differ. Okay? Move to the second question. Second question. The formula, sorry, is for ethylamine. Formula of ethylamine is C2H5 and H2. This is the formula. Name the elements that are present in this compound. We have carbon. First carbon, we have hydrogen and we have nitrogen. These are the elements present in this compound. Indicate the atomicity in one molecule of ethylamine. Atomicity, we have to count them. How many carbons we have? Two, so it's two. Plus, how many hydrogen? Five plus two, it's seven. Plus one, so it's seven plus two, nine. Plus one, it's ten. This is the atomicity of ethylamine. Determine the number of hydrogen in nine molecules of ethylamine. Nine molecules of ethylamine. So, number of hydrogen in one molecule. How many hydrogen do we have? Here we have five. And here we have two. How many molecules? How many atoms, hydrogen atoms? We have seven. So, in order to calculate this, 
nine molecules and one molecule we have seven and nine molecules so it's nine times seven it's equal to 63 determine the number of molecules of ethylamine that contains 14 carbon atoms 14 carbon and one molecule we have two how many molecules of ethylamine to have 17 and one we have two and how many molecules we have 14 we can make a simple calculation 14 divided by this number which is 2 so 14 divided by 2 so we need 7 molecules of ethylamine okay moving to question number three write the formula of the following compound listing the elements in the given order so let's start with the first one first one say dinitrogen oxide is an atmospheric pollutant it's composed of two nitrogen atoms and five oxygen two nitrogen so it's n two two should be down like this and five oxygen atoms oxygen atoms so it's o five that's their formula sulfuric acid is composed of two hydrogen atoms start two hydrogen is h2 one sulfur sulfur adds s four oxygen so it's o h2 s o four since we have four oxygen baking soda is used in baking it's composed of one sodium what's the formula of sodium it's n a one hydrogen this is h we have one carbon carbon it's c and we have three oxygen atoms so it's o3 that's the formula acetic acid or ethanoic acid is the main constituent of vinegar it's composed of two carbon atoms so it's c2 four hydrogen atoms four hydrogens h4 and two oxygen o2 the formula of ethanoic acid it's C2H4O2 or we can write in another way CH3 COOH whenever we see COOH it goes for an acid whenever we see at the end OH it goes for alcohol so C2H4O2 let's see if this is the same how many C's do we have here this is one this is two how many hydrogen this is three and this is one it's four how many oxygen two and this is two tobacco smoke consists mainly of nicotine which composed of 10 carbon atoms 10 carbon atoms so it's c10 14 hydrogen c10 h14 how many nitrogens two so it's n2 moving to question number four both isotopes of boron b10 and b11 are used extensively in the nuclear industry table below shows the percentage abundance of these two isotopes this is the atom b105 and this b115 as you notice here they have different mass number but they have the same atomic which is 5 percentage of relative abundance is 80 and here is 20 calculate the number of neutrons of each atom for b105 number of neutrons is how much number of neutrons is a minus z a minus z so it's 10 minus 5 so here it's 5 5 neutrons here it's 11 minus 5 so it's equal to 6 represent this table in a circle graph first you have to draw a circle the circle you draw it of a radius maybe 4 5 6 centimeter as you wish first step you have to draw the radius for example this 80 percent the circle represents 360 so 360 degree represent 100 percent how many percent we have we have 80 percent we have to calculate it and we have defined the answer in degrees celsius in degree sorry so we have to calculate it in degree maybe it be like this okay you have to calculate the measure the same way in the second way 420 so you have to calculate for both of them Write the electron configuration of the boron atom. Electron configuration, we have 5 Z, so it's K2, L3. Identify the location of boron atom. How many electrons did they have in the Venus shell? How many Venus electrons? 3. So it's group number 3. Why? Which period? It's period or row, which is number 
2. Why? Because we have two valence channels, two energy levels. Okay? Thank you. Here we start with ions. We have two types of ions. Either they are anions or cations. Anions, they gain electrons, while cations, they lose electrons. Anions, they are negatively charged, while cations, they are positively charged. In the case of anions, we have chloride ion, which is Cl, chlorine atom. It gains one electron to become Cl minus. This equation of transformation from an atom to an ion. Since it gains one electron, so plus one electron, it gives Cl minus. Bromide ion, it gained one electron to give Br minus. The gain of electron is two, is one, sorry. Sulfide ion, sulfur, that gains two electron to become S2 minus. The electron gain is Two. So whenever we gain electrons, they become negatively charged. They are called anions. While in the case of cations, cations, they are positively charged. They lose one electron. For example, H plus its proton. H plus its H, they lose one electron. So loss of electrons, they become H plus. For example, sodium. Let's move to sodium, Na plus sodium ion. Na, sodium atom. The electron configuration of Na is K2, L8, M1. It loses one electron, minus one electron. This minus one electron gonna move to this. So, minus one become here, plus one electron. So, Na gives Na plus, plus one electron. The loss of electron is one. Potassium ion. Potassium ion, it's K plus. Since it loses one electron, so the equation is K gives K plus plus one electron. Fe2 plus is called ferrous ion. Ferrous, so Fe gives Fe2 plus plus two electrons. They lose two electrons. Copper ion Cu2 plus. So they lose two electrons to become Cu2 plus. Cu gives Cu2 plus plus two electrons. So the electron loss is two. Zinc ion. They lose two electrons to become Z and two plus. Iron three ferric. They lose three electrons to become Fe three plus. Aluminium ion. They lose also three electrons to become Al three plus. So anions and cations. Moving to some of these hydronium ion, you have to study them. Hydronium ion is H3O plus. Ammonium ion is NH4 plus. Moving to some anions, we have hydroxide ion, OH minus or HO minus, the same. Nitrate ion, NO3 minus. Permanganate ion, MnO4 minus. Sulfate ion, SO4 2 minus. Carbonate ion, CO3, 2 minus. Hydrogen carbonate ion, H, CO3 minus. Sulfite, be careful, sulfate, sulfite. Sulfite ion, SO3 minus. Nitrite, NO2 minus. Phosphate ion, PO4, 3 minus. Hypochlorite ion, CLO minus, CLs together, C capitalized, L is small letter. Dichromate ion, CR2, O7, 2 minus. These, you have to study them. Ions holding a single charge, either cations or anions. H plus, it's a proton. Hydronium ion, H3O plus. Ammonium ion, and H4 plus. Lithium ion, Li plus, sodium ion, Na plus, potassium ion, K plus, silver ion, Ag plus. Ions holding a negative charge, a single negative charge. Hydroxide ion, HO minus, chloride ion, Cl minus, nitrate ion, NO3 minus, permanganate ion, 
MnO4 minus hydrogen carbonate HCO3 minus. Ions holding two charges. Magnesium ion Mg2 plus. Calcium ion Ca2 plus. Barium ion Ba2 plus. Fe2 plus, which is iron 2 or ferrous iron 2 ion. Nickel ion Ni2 plus. Copper ion Cu2 plus. Zinc ion Zn2 plus. Tin ion Sn2 plus. Lead ion Pb2 plus. Moving to ions holding two negative charges. Example oxide ion O2 minus. Sulfide S2 minus. Sulfide SO3 minus. SO2, uh, 3, 2 minus, sorry. Sulfate, SO4, 2 minus. Carbonate, CO3, 2 minus. Dichromate, which is Cr2, O7, 2 minus. These, you have to study them properly. You have to know the symbol of each of these in order to solve any exercise. Chiasma method or the crossover technique. This technique or crossover technique has two main steps. First, you have to write the symbol of the positive element. Under each element, write its charge number. Cross the absolute charge numbers and deduce the formula. Example, we have A. The charge of A capital is A small. The charge of B capital is B small. So you have to cross them. This A comes toward the B and B comes toward the a. So the charge becomes A, B small, B capital, A small. Example, write down the formula of calcium chloride. Here is the example. Calcium chloride, from the name, the name tells us that calcium chloride, it contains calcium and chlorine. Calcium ion and chloride ion. Let's see. Calcium ion is Ca2+. You have to know this. Ca2+. What is the charge Ca2 plus? The charge is 2. Regardless of positive or negative, just look for the charge. The charge is 2. Cl minus. Cl minus, the charge is minus. Minus what? Minus 1. So the charge is 1. By crossover technique, 1 moves toward the Ca2 plus, which is Ca, and 2 moves toward the Cl minus, which is Cl. So the formula becomes Ca. 1 becomes there, so Ca. Cl becomes Cl2. You have to start first with the cation and then with the anion. Let's start with another one. Write down the formula of sodium sulfide. Sodium sulfide. First, it includes sodium, which is Na plus sodium ion. Sulfide ion is S2 minus. What is the charge of Na plus? The charge is 1. This is the charge 1. Sulfide ion S2 minus. The charge is 2. So 2 moves toward Na and 1 moves toward the S2 minus. So it's Na2S. Here, it's the most complicated one. Aluminium sulfate. As the name tells us, aluminium sulfate it includes aluminium ion, which is Al3+. Plus. And we have sulfate, which is SO4-. Minus. Here, the charge of aluminium is 3, so we put 3. The charge of sulfate is 2 minus, so we put 2. 2 moves toward Al, so it's Al2. SO4, where 3 comes. Whenever we have 2, S and O, we have to put parentheses here. And here we put the 3. In order to be multiplied by the S and by the sulfide and by the sulfur, sorry, and the oxygen. So here you have to put parentheses. This is the most complicated one. And if they have the same charge, for example, we have... Uh, Ca2 plus, we have S2 minus. Ca2 plus, the charge is 2. And S2 minus, the charge is 2 also. So we can cross them and start with the cation. So it's CAS simply. Okay? Question number one The atomic symbol of sodium atom is Na1123. 
So the symbol is X, for example. Down we have the Z and up we have the A. So this is the atomic number. Atomic number. And here we have the mass number. Keep in your mind that A equal to Z plus, and don't forget this, A, mass number, Z, atomic number, and number of neutrons. Determine the composition of the sodium atom. Composition, you have to tell you about the number of protons, number of electrons, and number of neutrons. Composition of the sodium atom. Before you start, you have to write this. N, A, neutral atom z or z equal p plus number of protons equal number of electrons c equal how much here it's 11 so it's equal to 11 so number of protons is 11 and number of electrons is 11 okay p plus goes for the number of protons a minus goes for the number of electrons we have a equal to z plus n a equal to z plus n so we want n it's equal to a minus z it's equal to 23 minus 11 so it's equal to 12. write down the electron configuration of the sodium atom it's 11z so n a electron configuration is k 2 l 8 m 1. determine its group probe and color since it has one Venus electron on its outer shell, so it belongs to group number one. You have to write the group number one as a Roman number. Which row? Which row? How many energy shells do we have? Three. So it's row number three. Which column? Column number one. To attain stability, a sodium atom must lose one electron. Whenever it loses one electron, so it becomes an, ad, an anion or a cation. It loses electrons, so it becomes a cation. Determine the composition of the sodium ion. Then the same number of protons, 11. Number of electrons decreases by 1. It's 10, so it's, it's 11, so it becomes 10 electrons. Number of neutrons stay the same. Right electron configuration. We lose one, so it's K2L8. Write the equation. How does sodium atom becomes a sodium ion? Na becomes Na plus plus one electron. Question number two. A calcium atom, C2040, has 20 electrons on its outside the nucleus, where it's on the electron clouds. If calcium atom loses two electrons, it loses. So it becomes an ion or a cation. Sure, it becomes a cation. And identify the nature of the calcium ion. Since you have to say identify, you have to justify. Since it loses two electrons, so it becomes a cation. Determine the composition of the calcium atom. You have to say in a neutral atom, in a neutral atom, Z equal P plus equal E minus, it's equal to 20. And the number of neutrons, A, it's equal to Z plus N. So then N, it's equal to A minus Z, it's equal to 40 minus 20, so it's equal to 20. To use the composition of the calcium ion, the same except for the number of electrons, which decreases by 2, so it becomes 18. Write in the equation the above transformation from an atom to an ion. Ca, it loses 2 electrons, so it becomes Ca2 plus plus 2 electrons. Moving to question number 3. The symbol of oxide is 0618, uh, 068, sorry, 2 minus. Find the number of protons and neutrons in the oxide. Number of protons is the same as the number of Z, which is 8. Neutrons stay the same. So the number of protons 8, neutrons also is 8. Specify whether oxygen atom gains or loses electrons to form the given ion. Since it's negatively charged, so it loses or gains, it gains electrons. Since it is negatively charged, so 
so it gains electrons how many electrons two electrons and decay the type of this ion only you have to say whether it's cation or anion it's negative to charge so sure it's an anion write the form equation how an oxygen atom becomes oxide so o plus two minus it becomes o2 minus specify the number of electrons in the oxygen atom and in neutral atom you have to say this in a neutral atom z equal p plus it's equal to e minus it's equal to eight so say the number of electrons in the oxide electrons they increase by two so they become 10 electrons the magnesium atom has 12 electrons this is question number four the magnesium atom has 12 electrons outside its nucleus a suspension of magnesium oxide mgo in water is known as milk of magnesia this milk is used in small quantity to relieve hyperacidity or heat burn of the stomach or heartburn of the stomach the table below shows the percentage of relative abundance of isotopes of magnesium. Isotope we have Mg1224, Mg1225, Mg1226. If I told you define an isotope, the atom that have the same atomic number but different mass number 24, 25, 26, but here 12, 12, 12. Draw a circular graph that shows the percentage abundance of these three isotopes. First, to draw a circular graph. This, you have to know that the circle represents 360 degree. So, 360 degree, how much they represent? They represent 100%. So, 78%, how much they represent? Represent X. So, we calculate the angle here. How much the angle here? X, for example. We calculate the angle Y, calculate the angle Z. Draw a circular graph and distribute it, for example. Okay, this is normal one. We did a lot of this. This is called a circular graph. It's known that the heaviest isotope is the one that has the greatest number of neutrons in its nucleus. Find out which of these three isotopes is the heaviest. First, you have to calculate the number of neutrons in each one. This one, and A equal to Z plus N. This one, you have to know it. A equal to Z plus N. So, N is equal to A minus Z. A is equal to 24. Z is equal to 12. So, the number here is 12. 25 minus 12, it's 13. And here, it's 14. 26 minus 12. So, this one, Mg. The heaviest one, it's Mg. 1226 okay good luck for your exam guys